Hello guys, welcome to Face of TV. You are watching the G2A.com North American December Cup and we are on the deciding map, well the match point, sorry. The match point of Mouse Spaz and it's going to be a nuke. Can talk to bring it back. Can they win a knife? Before we get onto knives, um, regarding the, st the stat track Asimov P90, we're going to give it away after this game because I said that the command is C side, but people were writing CT side. So... In the interest of fairness, we're going to do it after this match. But it's not CT side, it is C side, people. C side. Anyway. She sells, <coughs> she, she, she sells, she sells seashells on the seashore. There you go. I couldn't even get like more than two words Let's out. Let's go. <laughs> oh my God. So we're getting in, we are getting into the knife here. I should know where that came from as well. Because I read that book that you gave me. Which book? The Bill Bryson book. Oh, which one was that? A short For history, the sake of the crowd. A short history of nearly everything. Okay, from they, the this, they, they think that that, that that tongue twister was, was made to honor this woman called, was it Marianne or Anne Marie? Something like one of, one of the, either one or the other. The, the person did who was she sells, she sold. Well, she, she, she was like, um, did she, she, she had like no education. She was living in poverty, but she found loads of fossils, like loads of dinosaur bones on like the, the, the seaside in Dorset in England. Oh, really? And so they, that, that's where it came from, apparently. That's quite nice. Yeah. The there more you, you know. So we are getting into the knife round, but uh, someone didn't have a knife, literally. So uh, they're going to hook him up, and we should be starting. Well, you're well. saying a player didn't have a knife. Like, he spawned with no, no yeah. nothing. But hey, no, I, I get that sometimes, but you do actually have a knife, but you can't see it. But then ah. if you can't see it, the thing is, like, if you can't see it, you may find it more difficult to measure the distance from your it, opponent. It, maybe it, swinging from too far away, or you may get too close and get knife first. It would be much cooler if, they, if it was just like a fist fight, though. That would be much cooler. Would it not be cool? It'd be take much no, longer. Like it'd, it'd take much longer, but it'd be cooler. Just bludgeoning, bludgeoning each other to death with their fists. You're a sadistic bastard. Maybe they could pick up the barrels, throw barrels at each other and stuff. Why don't we just get gravity guns and just go, just use the toilet? <laughs> well, 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 we could just use Half-Life Deathmatch. Do, uh, yeah, let's just do that. In fact, guys, let's just forget Counter-Strike. <laughs> let's get Half-Life Deathmatch on. And then, then we can do that for the knife round and then play Ricochet instead of yeah, an actual match on Counter-Strike. This guy is like a massive Ricochet fan. For those who don't know what Ricochet is, it was essentially the first like Half-Life 1 engine mod ever. And it was actually created by Valve. And, and, everyone, and it was kind of like had a reputation for kind of being like kind of terrible. But Ricochet is the truth. But it, I've was, spent it was kind of, of fun in its game. own terrible way. I, don't, I, don't, I couldn't even explain to you why I enjoyed playing that game. Exactly, because it's terrible. <laughs> but it's fun in, in a terrible way. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's good. Did you ever play Tetranet? Tetranet's so good. Yes. Tetranet's so good. All right, let's explain what Tetranet is because this is like old school stuff. Just nerding out big time now. So Tetranet is Tetris, but it's like multiple players. So you can have like teams of two, three, four. So you can let's say it's two versus two, and you get power ups that spawn, and you can basically like double up the power ups if you catch if you like create a Tetris, in like if the power up is part of like one of your Tetrises, and like you you bust it, and it can either be like a beneficial one. Or it can be a negative one. So you can, like, let's say, clear out like uh, nasty blocks for your teammate, or you could, let's say, ha have one that like spawns loads of blocks with you know, holes and stuff like that to make it really hard for the other team to get Tetris. So it's yeah, this it's is this really, is what really we used cool. to do back in the day. Yeah, it was so I used awesome. To play, I went to a LAN where I was playing Counter Strike. Yeah. I used to play poker, right? Yeah. So we used to play we used to play poker online. We used to play Counter Strike. We used to play Ricochet. We used to play Rise of Nations, and we used to play Tetris. Do you ever play light bikes? Light spikes. Yeah. No. Okay, that's pretty old school. It was basically <laughs> just like pixels. Just that was the extent of the graphics. Just like pixels and no, just like two colors, blue and red. Is there a purpose? <laughs> it's, to it's, this it's game? Like is there it's, an objective? It's like, it's like Tron, basically. You know the Tron with the light bikes. Yeah. It's basically like that. that was okay. It. That was it. We should play Tetranet. We should. Play I know Tetranet. you play a lot of games, and uh, I know I know you're a streamer. I wonder. I wonder if there, there must be a modern version of that. No, the game. I've got the game on my computer now. Yeah, but there must be a modern version of it. Not like, Why would you not play like a modern 50, version? Fifteen years old. Why would you play a modern version? Well, it is fifteen years old. Yeah, but that's 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 the, that's I guess, the glory I, I, I of these guess games. It is these games are timeless. Tetra, Tetranet is true. timeless. I guess you don't. There's, you can't make really an improvement to yeah. it. So I wonder how many people in the chat have actually played Tetranet yeah, before before we mention it today. But go, I mean, Google it, guys. Get a Google device and Google Tetranet. We're just sh showing our age with this kind of stuff. Hey, so I'm like a fine wine baby. I'm not. I don't consider myself old. I actually don't. I I I spoke to an 18 year old. And I spoke to an 18-year-old. <laughs> That's the <laughs> oldest thing you could have possibly said. <laughs> I spoke to an 18-year-old. 
I was leaving the library yesterday and uh, Never. I stopped in my wheelchair and spoke to an 18 year old. Hello, you there, infant. Talk to me. <laughs> but I was like, I was like, wow, you're 18. I, I, I still feel like I'm 18. I like still relate completely, which is not uh, having grown I up know at you all. Do because of what you say during the breaks. <laughs> I, don't know, I have no idea what he's saying. I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> this is, this is, this is okay, a, this allegations. Let's do it. Tetranet. Tetranet. We should put it on Face It. Face It, what, the platform? Yeah. We could do, I suppose. But I think that would be a waste of resources. Really? Yes. It's pretty good, though. Yeah, but I mean... What else should we put on Face It? You're a Street Fighter guy. Why, not, why don't we have Street Fighter? Do you know what would be cool? If Tetranet was like a HTML5 game that you could play with people in your team lobby while you were queuing oh, for matches. By the way, okay, so this, this actually happened, right? In, in Quake 4, there was, uh, there was uh, this mod called X Battle Mod for TDM, and it was like the official mod of Clanbase. Mm. And the, for some reason, the person who coded that got bored enough that when there was like a timeout in the game, everyone had like their individual Tetris game that they could just play in, in, the, in the pause, <sighs> in, the, in the timeout. And, every, and, and when, when the pause would resume, and then another pause would happen later, Later on, you could just resume your game that you were playing before. So, <laughs> someone put Tetris into that. That was really weird. That was, that was. But it was it was awesome. That. That was that was really cool. So uh, we are about to get into the match. So what are we? Okay, so Mouse Bad's won the knife round apparently. Uh, they had some weird bug there, and who knows what happened. But Mathbaz won the knife again. I think they won it on the last map as well. Um, so here we go with the pistol round. Yeah, I had something really cool to say. They, they won the knife that. round on the first map as well, because they started CT first time, remember, as well? Wow, they just have all the advantages here. They have all the knives. Is it, can it be, it be a coincidence? I don't think so. They got the nice strats. Anyway, we're into, into round one here. And talks really need this. They really need to get something happening for them. But Parik is there to say no. Doesn't even shut the door on them. He like lets them through. Just pops their heads with this USP. It's like wham bam, thank you, ma'am. And it's all over. It's all over, Jake. Or is it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, this is this is <laughs> <laughs> this is not looking good. Cutler and PTR are going to get a $350 helmets, which is fantastic for them. It allows Cutler to. Uh, by the M4, if he had been touched, he wouldn't have been able to buy it. I want to see where Tarek goes with the Mag 7. Oh, we've got big popper Pump Hayes with the Nova shotgun city right now. I'm a very happy man. I actually own the Nova in real life. That's how <laughs> much, you, that's how much of a boss I am. I've, I've never even fired it. Hmm. When I go shooting, I normally just use a club gun, so it's just sitting there. Okay, things are going to slow down here. And again, this is, this is really, really bad for talks. I'm sure you're all familiar with how lopsided this map is. And again, <coughs> we saw Dats play an amazing uh, T-Strat yesterday. But that said, look at that. We've got, we've got smoke coming in from the truck outside. The Nova's going to be doing work, though. That's one kill. Here comes the second one. There's the third. Monty going to be trying to find a head. But... Uh, Support coming for the CTs on long. Last man standing is going to be TCK. I have hope though. This is an eco, but I have hope. The, the mere fact that they smoked, uh, they threw a smoke through the roof from the kind of truck area gives me some hope that we may see some nice T straps here from Torx. I well, first first of all, there's lots of there usually is like loads of questions to be answered. First thing, you know, when we get into the real buy rounds of both teams, like right now, Mouse Bars are just kind of like winging it with the, you know, with a Mag 7, still with a Nova, a Famas, a Scout. Everyone has a different gun, and just Carlos going to go with an M4. So we, w we don't really know what their setup is like yet, or what like th what they'd like to do, and we don't know how Torps are able to push outside yet, because you know when we saw that yesterday, they had smokes for everything, even the even the outer catwalk, very re reliably. So we'll have to see how well. Maspaz can deal with this if... Oh, Peter going to creep through the gap in the smoke. Peter is going to be behind them. Oh, no. This is going to be hilarious. Oh, no. If if they don't know where he is... There it is. He's able to get a free couple shots to the scout. Picks up a kill. And look at it. You know, they must have felt like, okay, we've got long guys. We can do something here. But no, Peter was right up in their face. Crawled through the smoke. And that's a 3-0 for Talked. And they've held on to these weapons. They haven't been...
They haven't had to rebuy anything, so they might just keep running with this. I think on this map you should you should always upgrade. I think on this map because I think well uh, I mean we've so seen we've seen uh, JW and Fnatic play Mag Seven Squeaky. That's it been like really his, good, yeah. his weapon, yeah. So that's the one exception. So yeah, exactly. I will allow it, James. Yeah, I love that. I love the Mag Seven. I love the Mag Seven. I, I actually think that you can. Yeah, uh, that's it's, it's, it's more than more than good enough. It's for specific purpose. And it makes it makes great. sense in in a lot of ways. Oh yeah, because you, you can you can drop down to vents. You can you can take over long and, and uh, secret with it as well, as well as having great engagements in heart around upper and around squeaky. You, you can do a lot with it. It's it also supports um, your team's economy as well. Exactly. With the kills. And and on top of that, it means that uh, you can you can do riskier stuff. You can buy more nades. Yeah, it's thirteen hundred dollars cheaper than an M4. Yeah, it, it's I, I actually like it a lot on the CT side. Of We've got to push through main to the T's here. Still going to be able to take down H to save you fast through the door, but uh, it's Cutler left with his M4, and perhaps some of them might be wishing that they did upgrade here as Cutler is. If close he plays his cards right, squeaky. he may get two frags here. This is one of those situations for Cutler where he's got to hope that the stars align for him. He's going to need a little bit of lady luck on his side. Generally speaking, this position is really good as well. If you're a T and you're an eco and you're waiting for the CTs to push, they often run through the door and they don't see you, especially if you have only a pistol because uh, it won't be exposed. Wow. That, However, game, that game sense. Yeah, D-Born. D -born, he may have seen um, Cutler's, the end of Cutler's rifle because there was a hole in the door. Maybe, so so maybe that may have been what happened there. Might have had a vision thing. Yeah. It was by the event. Indeed. Um, but they have, of course, a lot of money to buy. And another thing about the, the mag as well is that because if, if you just constantly keep buying mags, what that actually means is that you can always actually drop your teammates because you save so much money with it that exactly. you always have an extra drop in the in the bag. So that's actually nice as well. But uh, they do have a sizable enough enough grenades here on the CT side. It's not perfect, but here goes Peter. Oh, timing! Ooh, I I think he clicked. Like he, I don't know. Actually, it looked like he shot there, but he didn't. Strange. Can he get the guy on the silo? They know that there's people outside. He sees the nade. He sees the elbow. He's waiting for the perfect opportunity oh. here. Let's get flashed. And they have smoked it. That's great work there from them. Moe's going to take down FNS. Now, this is very promising indeed, James. We're seeing a great, great outside Bob. place here. But in comes the mag. That's two quick frags there. We do have. Uh, wow, they are cleaning up house. House spaz. Three against one now. Mo is outside, trying to make his way into some damage here onto main, onto the upper side. But this angle really sucks for him. Look at the maze coming in. And uh, Torx, they they played so out, well outside, but they couldn't hold it on the, the inner How do you feel area. about the uh, the smoke push with the bomb? Only one person as well. Because because like yeah. as soon as they, they lost the bomb, it, it raised the urgency for the whole team massively and they had to, they had to speed things up. You know, things were going well, but then after that happened, it just all collapsed. It is questionable. But I just wanted to keep seeing Torx play outside with all of the smokes that they had there. I mean, they had some really nice smokes. I suppose with the smoke push, it, work, it works both ways. With the pressure being applied from other parts of the map, it's kind of psychology you expect the CT might be um, having his attention elsewhere, which allows you to push the smoke. Unfortunately, Tarek was in there, so it works both ways. If you if you ran that situation 100 times, maybe it's 50, maybe it's 50 50. Yeah. The interesting position with, with Cutler here is that he can jump down, but he can also he can wall bank through the bottom right corner of that box very effectively. Good setup there. You can see how he flashed for his teammate just to keep him safe and help him get some extra frags as he goes to safety. Cutler able to take down another frag. Absolutely enormous work from the man Cutler. He played that position to a T. It was perfect. Nice clean round there for Mouse Baz. They make it 5 1. No losses on that side whatsoever. So this is the situation where their economy can start to grow. You can see Hayes leaving T, uh, CT spawn with $6,000 in the bank. So things have been good for them. On the other side, talks on that eco. They have uh, a few nades and not a lot else. I'm curious to see how Mo is going to use these actually. It looks like it is going to be the push with the flash into the bomb site. It's going well so far. Bit of a queue on the ladder for the CTs, but uh, Carla coming in to clean things up. Only Mo remaining, and he will get taken out as well. There is actually um, a sneaky, like a, it's like a late, uh, a late vent push with nades that I've made. I don't know how effective it would be in a professional match, but... Uh, Maybe we'll see one day. You can bounce the nades um, off the window 
into A, which doesn't just break the door, but also breaks the vent, and then you can smoke it. Yeah. And with a, with a flash or not, you can run through the smoke into the vent and hopefully get a fast plant um, before the ramp guys come and take you out. And often people have had no idea that the bomb's been on the until it's planted. But that's one frag for Mo. Hayes in an advanced position. Can he face the right way at the right time though? See, still behind T Red. There's the first frag. He's coming to get revenge. Had to face T from two sides. And uh, War of Attrition right now. One man advantage for the T's. Cutler's going to move into the long area and try and hold down the uh, B bomb site for his team. C still advancing to the doors here. So long is going to be contested by these two players. Let's have a look at where the bomb is right now. Being carried by D Born. He is in the secret event area as well. T's, uh, sorry, CT stretch. Cutler's actually in the toxic area. Peter's on ramp. And last guy, FNS, is going to be holding a solo for the time being. A lot of angles to cover here as uh, things slow down and both teams look for the next pick. FNS has to be careful because uh, Heaven could technically be compromised, but I think these nades are going to be a cue for him to change position. Yes, it's still doable, but uh, we can see that Torx have a lot of space which with which they can exploit well. Still going to just distract here, making sound on the ladder, which could just allow teammates to get in. Whilst the CTs are distracted, but in fact, they are just going to go up for the straight trade to get the plant. They have a man advantage. It's a smart way to approach the situation. Here comes Peter rushing in from radio. Oh, there's two not looking, and he will take down Monty. A shot there with the AWP, switching out for the AK. Can he pull this off? In comes the flash. He's got a teammate with him. They both have kits. Cutler now in from Squeaky. Looking for the damage. Going to go for the spray. Gets gunned down. Torx pull out another round, and... Uh, Lots to play for for Talk still. They're, they're actually on, they're relatively on track here. I mean, if they get four rounds, four or five rounds, they're okay. I think one of the hardest things to do as a newer team on the T side, especially on Nuke, is, is having the correct post plant positions and making sure that uh, your exposure is minimal. But that is the second round, so a four round deficit for Talks. And that's an important round as well, because let's have a look at the CT money post purchase. They are uh, in. Uh, a weird place at the moment and that is important for the T's. They want that economy to be as stretched as possible. You can see that squeaky door has been blown off, which will change the dynamic for both teams towards the A site. CTs will have to be more paranoid and pay more attention to it. Cutler gonna fall on ramp. Still with a nice entry. And uh, the thing is though, they don't have to rush down immediately. They do have uh, some time to wait because of course the CTs can actually reposition very quickly to the lower site as they do have quite a few players on upper. FNS even uh, towards secret means that they can have presence on long before the T's can. So it's smarter than to wait, but Tarek, he wants to find out what's happening now. Pushes him in and finds the frag. Also spots some players. Talks now in a bit of an odd spot because <coughs> CTs I think it's around a bit. Have figured out exactly where the T's are right now. They might not be counting for two players to be up top on heaven. They're going to be getting the frags though. Mouse Baz looking pretty fantastic here. There's a two on two and they still have good positions. In comes the damage up the ladder. I don't think so. And TCK is going to fall back to the floor as the uh, FNS finishes off the round. And that was a close one. It was a nice improv improvisation. Improvisation. That up kill but onto the ladder yeah. was glorious. It was really fast. He, he could have actually waited a little bit, took his time with that, but, but he just went for it. No hesitation. And now Mouse Baz at 7 to 2 in Talked are in a pretty bad spot on the money. And because they just won a round, they got their bonus reset. So that sucks. They, have, uh, they didn't get a spree going there. Oh, this is going to be bad for the, yeah, they can't push that door anymore. Lost the opportunity. That is a nice meaty smoke. That could oh. be a meaty nade. Mo down to 29 HP. So there's no one really on floor, I don't think. Oh, okay, there is one. Tarek is, is there. The T's have no flashes left now. They can't push A, but they're going to try anyway. Tech 9, just in comes Tarek from around the box. He's there on hut. And he's going to clean them up. Only losing one player. And this is great for mouse players because we saw previously they're having a, a quite a bit of trouble um, on the bank. They they only lost like one round, but but they've been losing so many players consistently that when I mean, you can see now, I mean, their money considering the score doesn't really look that good. I mean, if Talks you know win this one, then they have a, an eco coming very soon, mouse players. 
in the next couple of rounds. So talk still with uh, three rounds to play with. Four rounds left in this one, two is fine. So Iba Power are probably watching this match, obviously, because they're playing the winner. What do you think they're thinking right now? Well, I think uh, Iba Power are going to feel pretty confident. I think they've they've looked like they have have the best form at the moment, especially with. Uh, how Skadoodle has been playing and opening up the map for their T sides. I think that's actually a substantial advantage um, that they're going to have going for them. Obviously, the rest of their team is just solid, like really solid players, and they have some great routines, so definitely the favorites. But um, Bomb is in no man's land right now, and the T's are away. You can see Cutler positioning himself to protect it. You can, just in front of those ties actually, you can stand on the pallet there. And if you're an orper, you can look into uh, to Squeaky Door as well. With lots of cover. Just a small note. Oh, that pop from Monty. That was disgusting. But uh, he has got a crossfire situation here. He has probably has no idea where FNS is. So is he going to be able to do this? He picks up the bomb. He's got 25 seconds left. Is he going to rotate all the way around? That's a, such a cool smoke. The, this timing is so so terrible now because there's just no way he can do this. FNS can just hide. He's on the vents. There's no way Monty can get to lower site. And even if he gets a pick here, which he might, he's not getting a bomb down. It's just not going to happen. FNS is going to actually face instead of... He's got three and a half seconds. Wow. FNS facing there, that's actually kind of huge. Does get cleaned up by Peter, but that was that was a potentially uh, round losing uh, mistake there from FNS to peak. He can just let him run past, considering that he has to plant in that spot. And uh, either way, Mouse Baz nine to the two have talked, and now talks need to get a couple on the board. There's, they can't really really afford to, uh, to to go into the next half with only two rounds on T. They need at least a couple more. Absolutely, You're looking at the CT money. Again, they could still be they could still be made to sweat, but uh, looking unlikely at the moment as the T's are on an eco. You can see, uh, let's have a look. I've pressed escape twice, but it's not showing us all the weapons. Never mind. Carrot going for the M4 now. No more uh, Mag 7 for him. May see some aggressive play here a bit later on in the round. Towards the uh, hut area. Now I'm going to be quite passive. You can see a lot of the T's. Pushing the ramp area, Hayes getting the first drag, he's going to try and retreat back to beat. <coughs> See if the T's can get the bomb down here. Looking unlikely at the moment as FNS is in a very strong position. Hayes coming in for support as well, Tarek going to clean up the rest. And it's 10-2 to Mouse Baz. Again, you can see the importance of these knife rounds. Allowing them to uh, have a strong advantage from the get-go. Absolutely. It's it's rough if you uh, don't get the T pistol. The T pistol, really really rough. And either way, mouse spaz, the open Peter. I've seen a lot of uh, really hardcore takes on outside from, uh, but they're looking to go for it here and just jumping straight up on the box. Peter, perhaps even expecting to see somebody just spotting on the box, had his reticle placed firmly on that spot. Mo straight into it. That's a really bad bad start here for talks in this round. Mo going down straight away. Cutler. In on the smoke. This is a sneaky position. Cutler is posi it should be able to get a frag here. And there it is. He takes down one. They get flashed. There's a great flash coming in from a teammate there. Nice team play. Not able to capitalize fully, but it's more than enough. They have the bomb. They've got two players locked away in radio. Now Spaz looking like they have this in the back. Indeed, looking pretty clean for them. And again, um, as Mouse Spaz continues to pile up these CT rounds, the margin for error on the second half of this map is just getting smaller and smaller and smaller for talks. Let's have a look at the frags and see who is doing what. Just uh, not that many jewels being won here by the T side again. They are on the less favoured side, so you have to bear that in mind. But uh, Mouse Baz, you can see Tarek topping the board there. Mouse Baz looking pretty comfortable to uh, go into the final here by power. Yeah, they are looking... If they win this map, that will be five rounds in a row. They want to get five maps in a row. They want to get four as well. It's probably good for morale. Uh, yeah, it's, it's it's certainly not. <laughs> just just have, it, and it's not it's not um, losing a lot against an opponent that sucks. It, it's if people are losing a lot because of the same mistakes. That's that's the killer. That is the killer because you it's so frustrating to make the same mistakes, be aware of it, and not find a solution and put it into play. That's, uh, then, then you're not improving. You're not learning from your, your playing experience. And we'll have to see if Torx can pull this one off. They do have a man, a man advantage. Make that two, 
to an advantage now as Cutler is left alone. Monty, Steele, and TCK with an afterplant situation. It's going to be all too easy to clean it up, and at least they get three. They've, they've got three now. They can very well get the, the fourth round on the board. And they can look to have a, a good CT half as long as they get the pistol. And that's really where the pressure is. It's all on that pistol, of course. I always, always, it's, always hate to say that, but you kind of have to. It's like stating the obvious, but you kind of have to say it. Because yeah, because it's, it's like, it is still an important factor, as obvious as it it's, is. It's the, it's the most important uh, thing for talks. So. Because oh, it has, it has uh, massive implications for the next two rounds, but also for the long-term economy. So, uh, Mo, oh, sorry, still pushing outside. Something we've seen Mo attempt previously. Now Steel is taking uh, charge of that. And they've got the smokes there. That's beautiful. They don't have the entire team there. But I suppose they cannot know what is behind the smokes. They have gone away now. Could be a play down secret. No. FNS is there to, to actually uh, stop anybody. He does get the pick onto Steel. He was alone there. And now, without any presence outside, Torque has to create an opportunity here. In, in the radio, in the upper site, will grab something, but they just get shut down trying to get themselves on that A bomb site. And there it is. 12 to 3. Talks are not happy right now. They had that overtime on map number one. Then after they lost that, they got kind of, uh, kind of dominated on the second map, and now they're getting even more dominated on Nuke. They, they need this pistol so badly. Again, this is uh, quite a lopsided map yeah. in the CT's favor. So as we said on the first map, do not count them out just yet. Oh yeah, if, if they, they get a pistol, can, they can just win. Right? Yeah, if they can get their economy going, then they could entirely annihilate Mass Vaz in I've, the second uh, half. I've seen so many times where a team will just will just get, you know, like 10 rounds in a row, just straight off the bat of the pistol. t is really hard. t is super hard on you. Of course, you'd want to say, and this is something, you know, with Mirage as well, you want to say that Mass Vaz, you're like, oh, you know, Mass Vaz t side should be better than Talked for many, many reasons. Um, if, if you're going to discard all the other ones just because they've been together longer, that, that yeah. should mean that they have more ability. You said Mouse Baz picked, uh, picked Nuke? Yes, they did. Yeah, because Nuke is, Nuke is uh, a map which I think is fair to say, generally speaking, is falling out of favor. Like, I think before, maybe before the introduction of, say, Cobblestone being forced upon us, it was uh, falling out of favor, but now it's like Cobblestone is not the most popular map either. But generally speaking, you know, as a, as a decider, in this kind of situation, it's not it's not ideal. It's, it was really smart for them to pick it because, again, you know they they know that if they get the knife, talk they're going to struggle on on the T side. Cause they just know that they're going to have because they have these routines to go you know to, that they can fall back onto. Whereas talked, as you said, you know maybe not having as much nuke, even nuke experience together as a team because it's not as popular necessarily. Yeah. That should that's a really smart choice, really smart pick by by Mousepads. So, uh, but. It is Nuke, CT side. Everyone's played loads of Nuke. It's not exactly all that complicated. You just need some simple communication. You know, people have a very good grasp of who's doing what. They should, they should if they win a pistol, they, they, they can absolutely just win, win the match. Yeah, so we have a, just a tiny break here because uh, someone has uh, just popped to the toilet. Again, you can see we have our newest skin that's been released to the workshop there, the M249 War Cloud. So uh, definitely wh when we uh, have skins in the game, the contributions go towards our leagues, and there will be some coming up next year. So, if you are interested in supporting our leagues, or if you like the skin, then definitely check it out on the workshop. It is bit.ly forward slash faceit249. So again, regarding skins, we will be giving away the uh, stat track P90 Asimov after this game. C side, not CT side, guys. <laughs> Speaking of CT size, we are about to go back into the game. All right. So, this is where it gets real. This is where it all happens. I, I, don't, I almost don't want to say anything. I almost just want to let this round play out and just see if... Uh, I want to say something. Okay, good. I am the bat. But you, you have to do it in the, in the Batman voice. I am the bat. There we go. All right. All right. So they're going to make their way up to a split on the main area, in fact. And not even sit. Everybody's outside the field, popping some heads, as well as Mo. So they're getting a nice advantage. That's good there for Talk. Oh, there we go. Hayes is going to take down one, but he's got more players. It's not going to happen. And Talk win the pistol. Now it's game on. 
of course, Mouse Spaz, they might have some cheeky low eco uh, set plays that they can throw into the works. And it's always worth, as a team, to, to just run strats in, like, you're always going to find yourself in a situation like this. Excellent work Go there. And, and run some strats, like, figure out some strats for rounds like this. Great work by the CTs there. Really good work from Steel holding off um, main and getting strong frags. And again, let's look at all the small details here. Monty and CCK had unblemished armor, so they get uh, helmets for only $350. That allows Monty to get that M4 and nade. Oh. That allows CCK to get four nades on his side and a FAMAS. A tech mine, so scary. So scary. And then Peter is going to be gunning down uh, D-Born. This is uh, a little bit worrying, but they should have this. Look at this PTK coming in from Secret, and it's all all okay. You know, lose two players. Okay, Color actually takes down another one, and that's job done. Three players down, that's job done for sure. And the bomb is going to be defended by the Monty. But that's three players that have to rebuy now. And uh, Maspaz. That was a costly yeah. round. That was a costly was, round for Thor. It was. Indeed, it was. Got steel with the Mag Seven. I always want to see them just force up again, just go for it, just break them, break steel their Steel with the chance knife. Oh, a little bit of go to be like there. We are back in action. Yeah, full eco for the full buy in the falling round, and some PT fifties. Are they going to go for a ramp here, or what is the plan for Mark Spaz? They're going to get prenated a little, prenated a little bit. So they're just firstly waiting out the prenades, which is very sensible. But here it is, going to be the upper. They have a guy on on the uh, the on the skylight flash, so still is in a great position though. He's on the on the hot roof, just has uh, the mag in hand there, able to get a couple kills in with that, and only one frag being found. That's an amazing result there for Talks. I'm happy to see this. I want to see I want to see at least one more map here. Um, so good to see Talks holding down the fort for the time being. I think uh, they may even be able to, I was going to say, afford an orb next round, but uh, we do see one on Mo, so he's got one already. Let's have a look at what angle he's going to be holding. No orb on the mouse pad side, all AKs over there, so those uh, helmets on the CT side are going to be rendered useless for this round. Oh, in the face, does Cutler take it? Mo looking for a second one as well. We could see two fast frags here from him. He's getting tagged with his smoke though. 25 HP, looks like he's going to change his position. All right, well. Got Mo on the angle as well, and uh, ooh, they're going to be able to pick off Steel, who was basically without any support of cover there in main. And I am surprised that we're seeing the players jumping on the box there, the crate, because in, in Europe, you see everybody use that box to spot. So every AWP is looking at it, like looking at that spot on yep. top of the box. So interesting uh, the, the difference there that we're seeing. We do have d coming in with a frag onto FNS there, getting a little bit low here, but most still 25 health, so I suppose if they can just get through outside here. Oh, that's a great pick there from Peter. That's going to allow them to push down and have a three-on-three -three situation. And Hayes being in squeaky is going to be able to throw a massive wrench into the works now. If he can just time his lurking perfectly to catch off these guys who will rotate if that bomb is going to go down on the lower side, which it looks like it is very shortly. And that Monty. Trying to spam through though. They run out of bullets. Just barely has enough left to take down Peter. Way would have taken down Ace there. Have yeah. you seen him on the right? He's on the right. Tarek coming in there. He knows where everyone is now. But the problem is, is well, that's a good nade. He gets Monty with that grenade. It's perfectly on him. Oh. Won't win the round. It's going to be D1 coming in with the save. <laughs> and Mouse Spaz are only ahead five rounds all of a sudden. That was really intelligent play by Monty. You could see one person ran into the smoke, but he made sure he didn't fire all of his bullets because <coughs> he saw one play, but he knew there were two more. So he waited. He thought maybe there's got to be a second guy next to him. The second guy comes out the door and he takes him down. So excellent, excellent play there by Monty. Really using his brain there uh, as a CT, which definitely slowed down Mouse Baz and made it a lot harder for them to plant the bomb, though. Torks have to keep buying on so many players every round. They've got no money at all. This is like really rough for them um, right now on the money. So they need to really not lose anybody to these Tech Nines. But you never know with the Tech Nines. Already we're seeing Steel go down. Um, I think over by Main that was. As very fast movement indeed coming in from Mouse Baz. And they do have Tarek. Around outside still trying to distract these CTs. There's two 
that he's been distracting so far as the players from Mouse Pass suddenly arrive onto the lower bomb site with the bomb in hand. Cutler's going to get the plant. It's a massive result here from Mouse Pass. Yeah, they've got nobody challenging them on the B site already. So now the CT is going to have to go for the retake. Monty going to get the first frag, but he's got to be careful pushing here without his teammates to help him. Only Cutler and Pizza are left for the terrorist side. And uh, TCK going down as well. Monty, they don't know where the T's are. Cutler's in long. He takes down Monty as well. All down to Mo with an AWP, no smoke. This is going to be difficult to say the least. Yeah, Mo just there's no way that he can do this. If they just play hide and seek correctly, it's impossible at this point. And he goes down. What a huge round for, to win. Talked have no bank. There's like so little left. They can't go for a buy. Mouse Spaz got loads of cash. I mean, that was a, that was a pistol save essentially for them. They they could even have considered forcing their, knowing how badly off Talked were for money. But but no. They, they made it work with what they had. It was really smart decision making by Mouse Pass because they had a Tech 9 so they could get those one shots close range. They smoked off outside, went into uh, Secret. So then all the ranges after that are just going to be really close ones to try and push the B side. I want to quick up a push here. They got Molotovs in action as well that could be used. And, uh, and that was to slow down the rotation from Radio. We can see they're running straight through the smoke. In comes Torch for the rotation. Two players against two, but Cutler able to gun down a couple. The AK, the Tech 9 combo, and 14 to 7. Mouse Paz very close now and talks still with no money. Still with no money. They they are. Oh, it's, 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 it sucks, James. Mo charged through the smoke like Leroy Jenkins there. And yeah. it, was, it was pretty much the same story. They just all got the Eagles got slaughtered afterwards. I'm obviously running in blind. So Mouse Paz two rounds away from meeting iPad Power in the final here. <coughs> My asthma's trying to kill me, but not yet, buddy. Mo with the scout again, so they've gone for the fourth buy for the second round in a row. If they lose this, then I feel like they feel like it's over. Got uh, Mo with eighteen hundred dollars in the bank though, so could force some kind of last stand. But it's going to be a ramp push from the T side. CT's backing off to play for a retake together. They're going to use the numbers to uh, get as much advantage as they can. Let's just uh, ride with Mo for the time being and <coughs> see what he can find. Nothing just yet. T's slowing down as there have been no kills on either side just yet. They don't want to get caught short. Taking this really slow. They know that Torx are screwed on the money. They don't want to give any edges away. Don't isolate anybody. Don't drop any weapons. But Peter is going to be trying to lurk him back into lobby here. He's going to be the flank player with Tarek. And it looks like they're actually going to catch the players off guard as uh, find himself at the mercy of Cutler. And that's going to be 15 to 7. And Mouse Spaz are oh, rolling over Torx now. They broke their money at a very key, there's like a very key round. But Obviously, you can see the implications here. Like, Torx were in this position where it was very, very delicate um, on, on, on the cash. And it's around they should win. But obviously, losing that, look, look how much advantage Smart Spaz have taken. Like, Torx can't put a buy together ever anymore. It's, it's, it's really rough. So now we have Monty with the Scout, Steel with the M4. This is like X Men The Last Stand, but uh, it is the Torx Men <laughs> with no special powers. So. They are in dire straits, to say the least. See Monty just trying to hold down ramp. He has got support though from Mo. Mo is going to fall to the AK of Finesse and uh, see if Monty can find anyone to connect with. Hayes and Finesse have both been tagged by the scout. Misses the frag opportunity there. And gets headshot afterwards. This is just getting worse and worse. Very, very close now to uh, being confirmed in those uh, finals here for the G2A.com December tournament for North America. And, uh, the loser of this match goes away with uh, $500. Yeah, the so winner is guaranteed at least 1.5k. If Mouse Bass do take this match, we will try and get the uh, final spot in the next, top of the next hour. But, uh, not over yet, as CT's Mask a comeback now, spraying through the smoke there. Nade this isn't going to kill him just yet. 11 and 30 HP for the two teams. Some good uh, cooling here from Cutler. Ready to throw them on the top. Does toss it in, but I don't think he got it on the bomb spot. No, I, don't think, I think he missed the they bomb. They don't have a kit. Hey, he just has to call shenanigans here. Oh. No, he's not going. He's not going to have time. Uh, oh! Oh! Damn! He got it just in time, but still. It's not over yet, guys. It's Still, if they if they got it back from from those margins, it's going to be pretty epic. But uh, 
I remember um, Valve said that they added a note for close diffusers, but I haven't seen anything yet in a single close diffuser. I mean, oh, you mean like an achievement or something? Or? Just a note. I don't know if it's like something that comes up, you know, like they say it's still jumped 27 times in this round, blah, blah, blah. I don't know if it was something uh, there or, right. or whatever. But anyway, clutch. Doesn't get more clutch than that. Last man standing, well, second last man standing, gets the diffuse there. We have a big outside presence for the T, so it looks like they're going to charge into A from two directions. But the flank is coming in from Mo. He's going to pick oh. up an AK as well. Oh, it's going to be carnage here. That is ridiculous there from Mo. Two taps to the head to the side. Peter coming in for the cleanup, and he's got three players left to find. He's got loads of time, but the bomb is precariously positioned for him at the moment. It is visible, but there are CPs lacking it's in every cool. corner. If Wolf can survive with three players here, this this could be the start of something beautiful. Oh, he's looking for the jump as well. Kukli style. But of course, Peter might just be able to take a couple down. And as you said, that would be pretty, pretty... Well, it's a massive deal, in fact, because talk to being stretched on the money and... To be able to be so cost efficient as to keep two AKs that they just picked up, that's a lot saved. That that's drops in the future for their team, and that's what's, uh, exactly what's really going to happen. And talked are going to bring this back now. Obviously, uh, if Mouse Buzz want it, they can actually force it up here. There's only, there's only two players that can't buy, and uh, Tarek can definitely drop for one at least. So it looks like they're going to go for it, which makes a lot of sense as they do want to break talked. Yeah, they just want to. Stretch them financially as much as possible. They're probably just saying, like, let's just win now, guys. Let's just win now, guys. That always happens on Nuke. You get, on, you get the last round, it's like, why can't we just win the game? And, uh... It looks like they're going for another secret play. It has worked out well for them, although there seems to be a smoke missing, so... <laughs> maybe they're going to push into main instead. Yeah, spilling out onto the yard. And there's no one there from Talked, actually, really. I mean, oh, Mo needs to be careful here. No one hell is ooh, in a very nasty spot. Peeks out to try to finish him off, and he's going to get caught in the back. That is a 4-4 four four now. Yeah, that was an overextension from Mo. He should have known there was more than one there. We do have now the boost coming in. They're going to go for it. Boost up to heaven. Love it. It is fun. Some fun shenanigans with the boost. TCK on the site is definitely going to be in a pretty compromised position as soon as they make their way up there. Dibor needs to be careful as well because he hasn't got uh, anyone no covering day. his back on the ramp. There it is. TCK ready for that. There he goes. Turning into the next players. Unable to get any more frags there as the bomb is going to get planted. And Dibor is going to make his way through. Huh. Oh, that's bad. All on Dibor here. And he's going to go down. There it is. Good games exchanged from either team. And we do have ourselves a victory there for Mouse Spaz as they go 3-0 in this best of five. And they are guaranteed now at least $1,500. And of course, uh, Talk's going away with $500 there. You know, good effort to them, but Mouse Spaz seem like the better team here today. And uh, they're going to be up against I by Power next in another best of five. Yeah, so that should be coming shortly. It is scheduled for top of the next hour, but we're going to see if we can bring it forward, obviously, because who wants 45 minutes of downtime? In the meantime, we are going to raffle off that uh, P90, and at just before the beginning of the next match, we will announce the winner. So definitely, guys, that is a raffle that's open to all of you. It will be uh, exclamation mark seaside, seaside, not CT side. So um, see, like the, the big body of water, like the big body of water. There you go. So we're going to be <laughs> raffling that uh, between now and the next match. So definitely get your seaside on in a chat, and uh, then during the final, we will give away the bayonet. So we will see you guys in a few minutes.